there was a soldier there was a commander there was a conqueror there was a man that is equal to a billion men the undefeated commander the undefeated ruler the undefeated general the undefeated soldier the undefeated warrior he crushed the superpowers of his time he crushed the persian empire he crushed the romans allahu akbar he conquered Iraq, he conquered Iran, he conquered Armenia, he conquered Jordan, he conquered Syria. He became the conqueror of Sham. He became the conqueror of Sham. He was known for his plan of attack. He was known for his ploy. He was known for his leadership. He was known for his courage. He was known for his fortitude. He was known for his military expedition. The very man that the prince of Persia would praise him, the very man that the priest of Byzantine would praise him, the very man who broke nine swords in a battle, the very man that the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam gave him a title, the very man that Abu Bakr radiallahu an praised, the very man that Umar radiallahu an praised, the very man, Allahu Akbar, who was undefeated in a hundred battles, who was undefeated in a hundred battles, who was undefeated in a hundred battles. This is why the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that do not say anything about Khalid bin Walid. Why? Because he's a sword from the swords of Allah Azza wa Jalla.